think. Uh, so I found some evidence saying that skateboarding is dying. But yeah, I think skateboarding is kind of dying. So come the skateboarding trend is dead. Wow, is that really the title of this video? <laughs> but skateboarding, why is it dead? What happened? Will skateboarding ever die out? Or how long will skateboarding last? Nobody, I don't think anyone really like thinks skaters are like cool anymore. Is skateboarding dead? Ah, skateboarding. Just like the world since the beginning of its existence, people have been trying to predict its demise. But being someone who has seen at least one fall in skateboarding's popularity, I don't fear it. I mean, if I was making a paycheck from it, maybe I'd be a little bit worried financially, but from a uh, pure aspect of being concerned for the well-being of skateboarding, no, I wouldn't be concerned. You see, in the 90s and early 2000s, we were uh, what the kids these days called lit AF. We were on top of the world. We had things like the X Games, and we had like TV shows, you know, where this guy that wore baggy pants way too long, he uh, bought a factory of fantasy, you know, just to torture his cousins. But when things are lit, they turn to ash. That's just logic. That's what, that's what happens when things become lit. You see, with the rise of things like TikTok trends and Instagram addictions, people who would have generally been just taking selfies in their new Air Jordans that their moms bought and flipping their hair for females, they started to be like, hey, I noticed that skateboarding thing those stoner kids used to do. It's becoming pretty popular. I bet I could pick up chicks and likes and follows with that. So this led to another saturation in the skateboarding scene overall, the market, the industry, whatever, and you know, the overall scene. We had, we had skateboarders everywhere. Air Jordans became a popular thing to talk about and wear while skateboarding, which yeah, sure, people did it and it was cool, but it wasn't saturated. This shit has become, it, it's been overdone. It's crazy. Now, I'm not going to say some of these trends didn't benefit skateboarding in the long run. Like work pants, yeah, those are fantastic for skateboarders. Think about how much we rip and tear and destroy things, you know, on our body and on, you know, on our clothing. We're just destructive people. It's in our nature. We build, we destroy, we create. It's just, it's skateboarding. So yeah, there have been benefits, and there have also been a lot of kids who have benefited from the older people in the skateboarding community when it's became trendy, which is awesome, and it's also caused a spike in skate parks, which is awesome. On top of that, we also have skateboarders who have begun to make full-time jobs out of content creation using skateboarding as their niche. And now they're all tripping out like, skateboarding's dying, skateboarding's dying, skateboarding's dying, and it's like, no, it's not dying, it's just going through the cycle, dude. You have to make sure to be prepared, like have a backup plan. Like John Hill, you know, he has his artwork. And you know, the, there are other ones like Dan Corrigan, he's actually making a, a kind of pro model right now, and it's actually looking like it's gonna work out for him. Both of these guys are really talented skateboarders in their own, you know, respects. And, you know, it's just like, they're making these videos though, and you know that on the down low, they're tripping like shit. The trendiness of skateboarding is dying, and I based my whole career so far off of content creation. Me personally, I've, uh, well, I've always been doing this and I've never made money off of it. I have tried, like I've said before, I've tried to make money off of it, and so far I've had no luck, and that's okay with me, because I'm not suffering financially, I'm not, you know, wealthy by any means, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not suffering. So something I want everybody to remember is, you know, remember that skateboarding has its ups and downs in popularity due to uh, different ways of transferring information, uh, whether that be television or internet. And on top of that, you know, just don't forget to love skateboarding and, you know, just be passionate about it. Yeah, it's gonna be trendy here and there, but at the end of the day, or year or week or whatever, it's going to die off. People are gonna be watching it less for a while. They're gonna get burnt out on it. And then skateboarding's gonna go back into, uh, you know, uh, just being an underground thing. Not necessarily underground, but I mean, you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna just be skateboarders, real skateboarders, not TikTok people or, you know, content creators. And you know, that will still be around and will stick around, of course, but there's, there's not gonna be that saturation uh, that, that insane amount of people that want to uh, pretend like they're a real skateboarder when they just started skating because it was cool. And we're gonna have a lot of people who are in the skateboarding community who uh, began skateboarding because of this, because of this uptick and this trend. 
and they're gonna stick around and we're gonna, you know, be really thankful we have them. So no, skateboarding's not dying. The people that were on the outside that took a peek in for a minute, they're just backing out for a while. And here in a handful of years, we'll be on top of the world again. And if we're not, then we're okay with that because we still have our scene. And we're still gonna be here. The people who have been skateboarding all their life and the people who started during the trend and found out they truly love it, they're still gonna be here. And we're still gonna be making content. Hopefully, the real ones are still gonna be making content. I mean, you know, if you love it, you love it. You don't do it for the money. I mean, the money's a big benefit and a big plus, but you know, you do it because you love it. Skateboarding isn't for the faint at heart. It's not for the cash grab. It's something that you become almost addicted to and you truly develop a passion for it. So to those of you who have been following this trendy wave and have developed a passion for skateboarding and have been following all of our content creations, thank you. We genuinely appreciate your almost like online friendship. We enjoy hearing you guys say, damn, that was such a cool video because we put a lot of work into it. And at the end of the day, even if, you know, you dip out on us, we're going to still be skateboarding because we're skateboarders and that's just what we do. So yeah, thank you guys for, you know, watching this video. This is just kind of my conclusion and my input on the whole is skateboarding dying thing because in my opinion, it's not. People are just backing away from it that we're never really skateboarders to begin with. I'll catch you all later. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't, and you have a good day.